I'm more than good enough for you. Missy can wait. This should be the person who has the gold dean. That is the first time I've seen a junior trainer female. I could be wrong. Now, this is a problem. Goldie knows Peck. Also supersonic, which is annoying. <laughs> so, basically, one more reason to have a Pikachu instead of a Gloom. Get past Confusion! I'm almost half tempted to throw out Pikachu. <laughs> we almost did it. You almost did it, help me. You almost did it. <laughs> but I don't need a dead guy before then. Alright, do I have a better... No, I do not. Hey, you're a new face. Trainers who want to turn pro have to have a policy about Pokemon. What is your approach when you catch Pokemon? And who has a three-stage evolution? That's literally who I chose. My policy is an all-out offensive with water type Pokemon. I want you to remember, or imagine, my eight-year-old self constantly throwing out Charmeleon thinking he could win. <laughs> just just kind of put that in your mind here. Hex defense. You should have used that earlier, woman. <laughs> 49 special. Darmy. I'll say this. Really like Starmie's design. And I don't know why she's not trying to use Bubble Beam, but. Oh well. There you go. Now's the right time to use it. Because for some reason, absorb. I think until s up until um, fifth generation, I think they quoted absorb as a physical move, which is weird. I just remember that absorb just kind of blew my mind. I was like, why does absorb a physical move? Oh. Wow, you're too much. All right, you can have the cascade badge. To Show you beat me. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths. You can also have my favorite TM. Bubble Beam! Yay. Do you say anything else? TMG just Bubble Beam, use it on an aquatic Pokemon. Or on a Jigglypuff. <laughs> One of those weird facts I found out when watching Slim Kirby. It's like. 
and I think it was after just kind of browsing through Cerebi, Bulbapedium, and just watching Slim that I realized, for the most part, normal Pokemon that can't fly, they get a lot of good benefits in terms of the variety of moves they can they get. Uh, where's the item shop? There he is. Cause like, <clears throat> what is it? I think Jigglypuff Puff can learn Flamethrower. I could be wrong about that one. No hyper potions yet. Okay, uh, give me some potions. I want to say in this video. No, that, that's. I think that's about it. Hello, officer. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind. Okay, same thing as ever. <clears throat> Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Dude, he's right behind the house. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. You know, it always... I think this is the only time you see a broken table sprite. Take a picture, everyone. We'll never see the sprite anywhere else. Those miserable rockets. Look what they did here. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. That cost me a bundle, it did. Grand full of Pokemon book. Which is weird, because, like, the only Pokemon the next guy has is a Drowsy. So it just kind of makes me wonder... What was that guy trying to... Can Drowsies learn Dig? I think they can. Nah, maybe not. But also, it's like... If he has a Drowsy, are all these the Drowsy footprints? And why did Dig make a ho giant hole in a wooden house? I assume it's wood. Hey, sit out! It's not your yard? Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Not when you try to beat the crap out of me. <laughs> okay, he also has a Machop. Never mind. Machop probably cracked the wall then. Really? What health again? Story of my life. Here's a very odd question for you guys. What was the most bo boring levels for you guys? Like, for your poker- Stop! I give up! I'll leave quietly! Like, what was the most boring levels that your Pokemon got to where it's like, Boy, we're slowing down a lot. For me, it was around the 26-27 level mark. Where it's like, wow, this- Now we're really slowing down for before. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. I stole? Stolen? I better get moving. Bye. What a nice fellow. Here you go. I figured it was lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without it. Is that possible? I mean, of the Diglicks in this game, I, I think it's impossible for any of them not to know Dig. Which way are we supposed to go again? This way or down? Supposed to go the other way. What was the point of going through this area? Okay, I know down this way was... 
the Pokemon Daycare. What was over here again? Oh, just a wall. Okay. And then that has to get me into... Cerulean City, wherever the heck Sabrina is, but I can't get there because... Angry Guards. Never mind, I need a cut. I'm thinking two steps ahead. In the wrong direction. So down we go. Is there an item that... Well, there's probably an item over there. Okay, so I was right. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty, though. Oh, wait there. The road's closed. Okay. Underground Pass, Rulian City to Vermilion City. How convenient. Hi, do you have an interim male? Want to trade it for an interim female? No, that's too bad. Sorry, I already caught both. Way easier than trying to catch a Pikachu, let me tell you. I thought it'd be the other way around. People often lose things in that underground path. There's a hint. There's something down there. Alrighty. There's a lot of bugs in here if memory serves. Two people on a date. Then we can fight. But first I want to find, remember, what was in here? I think it's sparrows, caterpies, and beetles. Maybe another Nidoran. Anything interesting in the mankeys? There are mankeys in this grass. There are mankeys I can kill in this grass. <laughs> Who's there? Quit listening in on us. Well, excuse me. I want to know what you guys are doing. Which I guess is rude. Oh crap! Help me! We need you! One, 32 speed, defense, 43. Cool. I just can't win. Sorry, boy. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. I mean, I've interrupted your boyfriend. I might as well interrupt you. <laughs> yeah, both junior trainers. Four speed, party first. Rage. Get rid of Leer. One, two, and poof. Great. 
Uh, what was I gonna say here? Oh, yeah, all right, it had to do with the rage. I'm not sure if it works the same in this game. I feel like... No, no, I might. Where if you use rage, then you get hit, you build power, or your rage gets a little stronger the next time you use it. I know that's how it works in later games. Right, one of you guys is a bug trainer. I think it might be you. I've never seen you around. Are you good? There's the butterfly I didn't want to fight. <laughs> Too good. There's even more traitors. Do I have no I do not. Who else is in the grass here? We got Mankeys, we got Oddishes. Oh, 15 Oddishes. Everyone stronger than you help me. <laughs> Anybody else in here? Looks like Mankey's in Oddishes. Okay, what do we got? Me? Well, okay, I'll play. It's a Pidgey. I'm gonna say, should I use Rage? I knew it! I knew you were gonna use Sand Attack! That's why I didn't use Rage! It's like, this is gonna be useless. More Pidgeys. Oops, you need a level. <laughs> actually use whirlwind or roar I know in a couple of the competitive matches uh, people used them but that was because they set up stealth rocks spikes poison spikes and all those things it's a pretty viable strategy really but even then I don't think anyone used whirlwind they used roar Huh? You want to talk to me? Not really. I'd like to get past you. Are you two on a date as well? Oh, okay. Cool. The ultimate power source! Oh. It does it automatically! Attack rose again. <laughs> I 
I think the speedrunner's tactic is get yourself down to critical health because then the text just goes by way faster. <laughs> Welcome to Vermilion City. And probably one of my favorite songs. A Pokemon was poisoned, it fainted while we were walking. Yeah, yeah, I think it was until Generation 4? I want to say where your Pokemon will hold with one HP and lose the poison status I think it is true that a higher level of Pokemon will be more powerful but all Pokemon will have weak points against specific types so there is no universally strong Pokemon wrong good sir even if they are, they are the same level, Pokemon can have very different abilities. Pokemon raised by a trainer is stronger than one in the wild. Uh, eh. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Yes. Oh no! You have no room for my gift! Oh no! Hang on a second, Guru! Uh, let's see. I don't use a map. Say that for later. Don't remember what this is. I, I'm never gonna use this. In this run through anyways. You don't come till very, very late. I should sell you. <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> Grand, I like your style! Take this and fish, young one! We got the old rod. Fishing is a way of life. From the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one, young one. Not that we really can, but... Just proof of concept. You only get magic carbs. Level five magic carbs. Did you see the SSN moored in the harbor? Yes. We're careful about pollution. We've heard Grimer multiplies in toxic sludge. Interesting. What is this patch of dirt for again? I'm putting up a building on this plot of land. My Pokemon is trampling the land. Chomp is stopping the land flat. Oh! Okay, I think in Gold Silver and Heart Gold Soul Silver, this actually becomes something. I forget what. But I think they literally put something here later. Port of Exquisite Sunsets. Alright. I think this is a nice place to stop. <laughs> Flatland. Hey, so, uh, thank you all for joining me. I know this isn't the most entertaining LP that I've done, but it's, it's one of the more relaxing ones for me. Just because... If any of you have 
seen I'm trying to do Metaboss Infinity again. That one can get stressful at times. So I just I just want something to get back to where it's like kinda nice, kinda easy going. And it's nice to get back to this old uh, Game Boy Color music again. But anyways, so thank you for joining me. See you all next time.